Hello, I'm doing some modular uh, 3D assets for building traditional Japanese house in uh, Unreal 4. Today I want to show you uh, how I approach uh, the, the texturing of my meshes. There are, uh, as you surely know, uh, a lot of different ways of, of approaching uh, the problem of texturing uh, meshes uh, and doing uh, materials in you know, real fora uh, and uh, well my approach uh, is the uh, one uh, I, I estimated more uh, useful uh, more uh, for uh, the goal I wanted to achieve. Essentially I have uh, two ways of uh, of testing uh, one way is a straightforward one uh, I mean, uh, I, I have uh, a mesh uh, and um, I made uh, in substance paint a texture specific for that mesh. I show here what uh, I mean uh, with that. Here I have uh, an uh, Amado. This is uh, a sliding door uh, uh, used uh, for protecting uh, the house. Uh, from uh, uh, rains, um, typhoon, and things like that. And here you can see the, the mesh is a pretty simple mesh, pretty low poly, if you show it, I show it in, in wireframe. And there's one material instance. This uh, material uses uh, essentially uses three textures. Uh, one uh, for this color, one is a uh, is mask, and one is the normal. Uh, this color uh, is uh, just the color. Uh, the mask uh, contains uh, all the other information like. Uh, metallic uh, roughness, uh, ambient occlusion, and eventually the specularity, if I need it uh, for some reason. And finally, the, the normals. The, uh, the other approach uh, I have used in this project uh, is uh, uh, to have uh, some uh, uh, flattened textures uh, for, uh, for wood, uh, for example like uh, the one here I, I, I sh I'm going to show you. This is Kiyaki, a wood uh, quite used in Japan, at least it seems I never was there myself. And uh, uh, here you have this color, uh, here I have a mask. Again, uh, in this mask, uh, uh, I use the same approach. Uh, uh, I, I have the uh, metallic, uh, if needed, uh, roughness, uh, ambient occlusion, and uh, specularity. Here you can see. I show there is no metallic. This is uh, the roughness of my material. This is the ambient occlusion and this is the spe specularity that for wood is essentially 0.5. Okay, I, I, I won't use uh, that information. I will just put a number in my material. And here are the, the normals. And now how I use this, uh, I, I can show you an example. I have a chair. Very simple chair. And this chair uses uh, the, the wood I, I showed you before. Uh, it adds uh, uh, to it uh, some uh, mask, a uh, small file some uh, small textures uh, 
ihr. Pretty small, uh, 128. And this is used for, uh, for edges. And I have a second one, uh, a little bit bigger, used for dirt and uh, ambient occlusion uh, specific to the mesh. When uh, it comes uh, to have uh, all the p big part of the, of the house, uh, like uh, pillars, rails, uh, frames, then uh, I, I use the same approach, but I uh, I combine uh, the the uh, the UV of those meshes uh, in a way to fill uh, a UV sheet uh, zero one. In this way, I have a, a, a reduced number of masks, which is. Uh, of course, comfortable for size reason. Also, as you see, with the same wood, uh, I have three different types of chair, three different uh, colors, a small variants, and this I uh, I. I I simply have uh, multiplying by a color, overlaying a color in my material. I will show you in the future uh, how exactly is the, uh, the material in Unreal Engine, but before that I want to show you how I, I, I do this texture in uh, Substance Painter. And for that uh, I will start uh, with the easier case, uh, I mean uh, the case of the Amado Dora. Okay, um, here we are again. Now I have uh, opened uh, the Substance Painter. But uh, before uh, to start uh, speaking about uh, the work in Substance Painter, I want to show you some references images. So here are some uh, Amado doors uh, I found in um, searching in Google about, uh, about this door. As here we can see it uh, from the exterior. This is the the uh, the box uh, in where when Amado doors are, 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 st are stocked at the end and this is uh, one uh, Amado, Amado door and here is uh, the same door seen from the interior part as less used and less consumed uh, the external one uh, take uh, all the rain uh, typhoons and uh, things like that uh, and here another example of the, of the same things. So this is the, only the, the box and the, the uh, and not the door itself. Uh, I, I use it for the image uh, for uh, choosing my materials, uh, design which color, which kind of uh, damage uh, I, I want on, on those doors. Okay, now here we are in uh, Substance Painter, and this is my, my project. I have imported my Amado, and uh, here you can see I have textured it. Uh, it looks just like uh, it does uh, in uh, Unreal 4. Well, I will show you now the, the process I, I, use, uh, I use it to arrive to this result, uh, and let's start. Uh, practically switching, switching off uh, all, uh, all the folders here that I have, uh, so I'm going to discuss it uh, in details, uh, one by one, and I explain you what I, what I do. So young, just have nearly the mesh, as it's important. On the 
first things uh, I do when I, after I imported the mesh is uh, go here and uh, bake uh, the mesh maps. I can show you. Uh, I, I, I use uh, the low poly mesh as the high poly mesh. I don't. Uh, I don't see in this case the necessity to 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 do an eye poly mesh. And these masks are pretty important because uh, I, 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 uh, this, I, I will use them uh, to these maps. I will use them to to bake my 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 masks. And now let's come back uh, uh, to the test the student process. Yeah, you can see my visa. This is uh, the wall uh, mesh uh, and uh, is a visa. And uh, you you can see I uh, organize uh, things uh, in uh, different folders. Uh, I have the internal part of the Amado door, uh, the bars, these are horizontal bars. Uh, we have seen the photo are slightly uh, darker than, than uh, the rest. The external part uh, is here, which is uh, much more used uh, is to take in a lot of uh, rain and uh, typhoons and things like that. And finally, the, the frame of it is. Uh, around and here you can see uh, there are two uh, two folders uh, uh, one uh, for the dirt mask and one for the edge mask these two are uh, exactly uh, you, uh, the same things uh, that uh, that i do uh, when uh, when i i just uh, use it uh, a, a general uh, a wood or other material texture for my mesh and then uh, I, I put uh, those masks uh, in the, just uh, to, 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 to give it uh, that it look not so flat, uh, that uh, it looks more appropriate to that mesh. As I, I'll show you for, for the chair in you know, real for. But now let's do together uh, this um, this texturing. Okay, I, I switch on the, the the Amado internal, and here let's look to the internal, and let's look what I have done here. Okay, here for 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 this internal part. Uh, I've chosen uh, a material that uh, I have. Uh, it's uh, Planks uh, and the Mark Padauk. Here I can uh, find it again. I drawn it here that the creator you, you you see something like that. Uh, I take it back. What I did, uh, of course, is to uh, to adapt it uh, to to this uh, particular case. Let's switch these two guys off uh, to to see better what I mean. Uh, I uh, I switch it to the polish to off. If I switch it on, uh, it look a little bit uh, too brilliant uh, to to polish uh, for a protecting door uh, who is already old and suffered a lot. Okay, so let's switch it off. And now this this weight it looks a little bit too too bright uh, with respect uh, to the uh, to the picture we have seen, uh, I take an inspiration, so I added a, a fill with chosen a color that make a little bit more brown, more similar to what I wanted. Uh, and then I, I added a 
paint uh, to, to add uh, some uh, damage, uh, some uh, color variation. And uh, well, now the, the fill is put in, uh, in uh, overlay mode. Is this, uh, if I put it in normal mode, uh, it looks like that. It, it, that uh, you see, we, we lose, the inf lose the information about the Buddha. It's a little bit like it, it was painted uh, uh, and still not yet uh, really painted. On a, we just put some color on, over it. Uh, if I, uh, I want. Uh, I don't want to 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 lose the the wood information. I still want to to see my wood. Uh, when I, I choose overlay, and it look much better, much more natural. In this case, in other in other cases, uh, you will prefer uh, a normal mode or the multiply mode, or whatever. And uh, for the paint, uh, I, for painting this, I, 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 I have used it, uh, a, a, a particular uh, effects, and also I've tuned it. Uh, and uh, if uh, I, I, I put a, a, a soft light. Um, and uh, uh, reduce the intensity. If now I put here at normal, and full intensity, you see what uh, what it looks like. Uh, essentially, uh, I have uh, I have taken. Uh, uh, a burn effect, a particular effect, it's a looking particles, uh, yeah, it's my burn. Put different color for it, see a little bit of red, a little bit of gray, dark gray, almost black, and uh, finally some white. And of course, uh, this is like uh, it was uh, painted uh, doing some graffiti, it's not what uh, we wanted. Uh, so, first of all, I, I, I switched to soft light, uh, so already a little bit better, but that's, that's too, too stark. And then uh, switch it down to something like that. And now it, it looks similar to what we have seen uh, in um, what we have seen in the in the photograph i can uh, i can show you a little bit more uh, how to do this uh, i just add uh, another layer uh, and choose this burn effect uh, and then i i go here uh, it's i i i have uh, a number of parameters in this physics uh, I can sh uh, choose uh, the fan rate factor of my emitter Let's, uh, put it a little bit up and the life I also want to and then while we have, we have some white, uh, we can change maybe this color to, to some black, a little bit red, just for a test. Uh, yeah, I, we, uh, and I, I left also the roughness, uh, I want this pretty rough because uh, well, it's something very used, and, and now I can do my particle effects. You see, and uh, I obtain something like that, and then I can do again uh, use some soft light and well tune it like I want. 
and that's it uh, for uh, making this part of, of the mesh. Now here yeah, whatever it's are these uh, internal bars I can switch them on and uh, well here I, uh, I just have used the same uh, wood uh, as planks uh, and made the, the color a little bit uh, more uh, more uh, dark uh, and let it uh, polish uh, or seen in the in the photo they are like uh, more polished uh, more dark uh, and uh, i uh, also i was lucky i because this material already some planks uh, and uh, I, I could have that here, uh, one uh, plank that end and the other that start, but I was lucky I, I didn't have that. If, uh, if I did, uh, I, I, uh, I, I would just uh, uh, change the offset uh, uh, and uh, correct that problem, maybe have uh, some, some mask, uh, some bars uh, offset. Uh, in a way and some other in another way. Now we can talk about the other side, the side that is uh, external and uh, suffer a lot of uh, of the weather. And here I switch it on. Uh, and here you 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 can see I I have uh, it in this in this folder or nice things of uh, substance uh, painters you can organize your things in folders uh, it's quite pratical and uh, of course uh, yeah, we have uh, the, the same planks because uh, well it's the same wood of the two sides uh, of the mesh just of it one side it really more uh, more used uh, more softer a lot more from the weather than the other but still it's the same wood and again here I have these planks uh, and I have added uh, some uh, some efforts uh, now I, I, as we show off uh, and then we we look one by one what each one does. Here are just the normal planks uh, of the material. Uh, it's, they are uh, unpolished, uh, so a little bit. Uh, I, I, I left the, uh, the color essentially like this because uh, the, the external part is more bright uh, and it's more consumed, it uh, has less color, but still I added a little bit of paint. Uh, that paint is again uh, some damage, I, 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 I some color variation I did again uh, with the burn effect that I've just shown you before. And and uh, then overlay it and uh, uh, reduce it its intensity. Then I added uh, some more burn here uh, because uh, it's already not it's not quite enough. Uh, so here you 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 can see I I added a little more, and in 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 the middle uh, I added uh, some uh, some rain. Because uh, well, this these uh, uh, shutters uh, are uh, outside. They take the rain, uh, and uh, paint offers a uh, rain effect. And typically, when you have rain or, or wood like that, you have uh, some uh, white trace of it. So I, I added. That. 
and I put in the in the middle uh, there so it's uh, then the, the color is again uh, over uh, burn it's over that and then I put uh, still some more uh, with a, a different uh, every time I use a different uh, variation of color uh, if we if we look at those in um, normal mode uh, and put a uh, under percent uh, you can see this is was a uh, black let's put it again back uh, to overlay and was around 50 percent uh, this one uh, was quite black too but uh, just a little bit different it's not exactly the same uh, the same color and maybe not exactly the same uh, percentage of overlay the rain of course it's white uh, I could have added also some a little bit more red uh, uh, for this born effect to, 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 to change the color but uh, at in the external part uh, I notice is in the picture is really more uh, gray dark uh, black so I decided to limit to these colors. I can show you now how I did the, the rain. I can create a layer inside this folder. I put some this color white because that's the effort I want to do uh, then uh, roughness I, I choose to be something uh, quite rough I take this particle effect uh, and still uh, put it it rains quite uh, a lot like I, I, I augmented the particle life and also change it uh, I can where it is change it to the size of my brush I want it a little bit bigger not too much and now I I start rain and there you see it's a, this effect of the water coming down and then uh, we can imagine it is going to dry and leave this trace it white trace it on the on the mesh and why you can uh, change uh, to overlay I, I found a little bit more uh, soft and I like it more but it's just a question of choice And now, finally, the last part of the mesh is the frame. Well, uh, for this frame, I, I again took the the same wood uh, and uh, is uh, unpolished, uh, made uh, a little bit darker. So it's you can see it well. Uh, more visible is also in the photos one see this frame uh, pretty well so I, I made this choice 
now the, the other two folders I have here, they are for uh, Dort mask and Edge mask. And this mask, uh, are, in this case, I decide to apply the directly on the on the on the mesh. In other cases, as I explained before, I I prefer uh, to have uh, 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 some general texture for wood or whatever material I need. Uh, and then uh, apply uh, a, a, a smaller mask uh, just on, on, on that specific mesh. So I practically have uh, the same wood that repeat uh, 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 in every every material instance, and then uh, only uh, the mask change. Let's reduce it a little bit. The, size of texture and also uh, it's a guarantee that uh, uh, I have uh, the same wood uh, just just the mask has changed slightly and by the way I, I can align the wood uh, for uh, following the wall would align it uh, so I, 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 I don't have much repetition but these doors are quite unique, and so I decide uh, to to do this other way. But the the way I build the mask is exactly the same, uh, and the way I use them is also exactly the same. So here, first uh, we have a dot mask multiplied, well, I switch it on, and uh, you see. Now it looks so uh, much more realistic, much more uh, comes to life really. You, you can see the bar better, the bars better, and the frame better. Uh, well, let's see how this uh, mask is done. For this reason, I, uh, I'm going to switch off uh, everything else. So it will be more clear. External off, bus off, external off, and frame off. Leave only the dot mask. It's a quite pretty simple mask. It's composed of two parts. One is really the door. Uh, another one is more an uh, ambient occlusion effort. Okay, switch off the door and let's look at ambient occlusion. I simply take the uh, ambient occlusion map I baked it before and I put it in the base color and then in the ambient occlusion of the, of, of the mesh, of the, of the this fill layer. Then I add also some information for roughness. Uh, I, I use this mask uh, as a, a multiplier in both cases, in real uh, or, or, or real. And uh, I, I, I w just want that uh, my, my roughness changes a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. I want a little, little, little bit less rough. That's why I, I put 0 0.99 in this field. And then once it multiply it, uh, it's almost the same. It's really very slight effort, but still. And on the top of that, uh, I, uh, I, I put uh, a real dot uh, to, to make this dot, uh, I create a folder and uh, apply the a smart mask. Painter has a lot of smart masks, so you can choose the, the dot as more convenient to 
to the case and then uh, here uh, change a little bit this parameters uh, till you team the mask you like and this uh, this mask uses it the the maps we bake it in the beginning so mask is like ambient occlusion I, I use it uh, full one uh, curvature I, I I use it a little bit uh, And uh, well, uh, what uh, I put inside uh, this folder with this mask, it's again a fill layer with a uniform color, which is uh, some gray. I, I sort uh, in this case, it's quite dark. Again, some roughness. Uh, I, I want the, the, the dirt parts be. Uh, a little less uh, uh, rough uh, than the, the more clean so I but just a little so I put here 0 0.98 and that's it for the for the dirt mask and finally we have an uh, edge mask. This uh, mask is, uh, uses uh, exactly the same uh, principle than the dirt mask. Again, I, I have a folder. Uh, this folder, I, I apply a smart mask. And in, inside I have fill layer. This time the color I choose is white. Again, I uh, 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 I I use some uh, some roughness. I want this. I will multiply it. So uh, I. I put a uh, 0.97 and some opacity in this case uh, because I want only the I say I have an uh, opacity layer I want only the the parts uh, that are affected uh, to from the mask uh, to be to be opaque peak and uh, well I don't really need this in this particular case I'm using this mask uh, inside the paint uh, but when I use it outside in in uh, in Unreal uh, I, I use this information about uh, opacity otherwise I, I, I will change uh, to some whiter uh, uh, color uh, the wall uh, the wall mesh uh, that's not what I wanted I want to to act only on the edges and uh, I, I have also our I, I, I choose this uh, um, edge mask is again uh, a smart mask from from uh, uh, algorithmic uh, and is uh, a metal edge where well you will say this is not metallic uh, I know but uh, it's just uh, an effort I want uh, to see it's at the end I obtain something it's a little bit like I'm I was doing a Fresnel or something effort or something like that I just like it. It's, uh, it gives the this uh, impression of the edge it uses. Uh, it show better the edges, and that's it. Well, uh, here I, I, I then I, I, I put uh, again a soft light uh, in the blending mode. Otherwise, it's a little bit uh, too. Stark 
well, you can see if an I put again in in a soft light, a little bit more soft. So now if we we put again everything on, you can see it. You can see the dot mask and then this edge mask here give this more defined edge. You see it a little better. And more uh, this, uh, this mask not only uh, concern the edge with, but also create a little bit of these uh, scratches around uh, which gives I uh, use it to, to have a little bit more uh, realistic looks uh, things I use it uh, so I like it and now I have this texture and uh, I export it uh, uh, to Unreal Engine, uh, packing it. Uh, I have one test, as I said, uh, for this texture, one, one mask uh, that contains uh, a metallic roughness, uh, ambient occlusion uh, and uh, specularity. Well, I don't use very much specularity for wood. Uh, it's just uh, specularity of wood, just 0.5 or so. But, uh, for a general approach, I, I, I also have this in my export settings. And finally, the normal maps. I will uh, show you in the next, uh, one of the next video, how, how I, is my material in Unreal Engine, so you you will be able to see better what I mean with this. And I will also uh, show you how I I do in the other in the other case I mentioned uh, as for the for the chairs or the pillars uh, where I, I just uh, export uh, the the mask of edges and uh, a daughter and then use a, a general tool for for wood or other material. This is the first time I, I do a, a tutorial like like this. Uh, so uh, if something is not clear or I can improve the way of presenting things, please let me know in, in the commenting. And uh, thank you for, for watching, uh, and uh, see you again so soon.